green belt. Hari was spending his summer holidays with his grandparents. While traveling in the train, he saw many trees. On reaching his grandparents' village, he saw trees on the roadsides. He wondered whom the trees belonged to. Domestic plants. Hari's grandfather took him into the garden in front of his house. There he showed him many domestic plants like basil, rose and money plant. Roadside plants. Hari's grandfather then showed him Ashoka and eucalyptus trees along the roadside. He told him that such trees are planted and grown to beautify surroundings and shelter. These trees are looked after by the government agencies who employ trained gardeners. Plants at the farm. Hari's grandfather took Hari to his farm. He told him that a farm is an area of land used for growing crops and rearing animals. Cereals, pulses, vegetables and fruits are commonly grown here. On some farms, farmers maintain vineyards, orchards and nurseries. These are also some types of farms. The produce is sold in the market to make money. Wild plants. While walking back home, grandfather showed Hari some wild plants. He told him that these plants grow on their own and do not require human care. Some wild plants grow along with crops and affect their growth. Such unwanted and undesirable plants are called weeds. Farmers remove weeds manually or by spraying chemicals called weedicides. Examples of some wild plants are dandelions and parthenium, gagan booty, water hyacinth, amalica, etc. Some wild plants have medicinal values. Some wild plants bear fruits that are eaten by the natives living in forests. Some wild plants have religious significance. Wood of some wild plants is used to make furniture and wood products. Wild plants like rubber trees are used to make rubber. Rubber is used to make tires.